Hey, what's up? It's Sugar from Sound Candy Studio. Uh, today I want to talk about how to reduce your murmur usage in Native Instruments Contact. Welcome back. Right, so today what we want to do is we want to save some memory on our computer and we want to allow our computer to run as quickly as possible. So if you're using uh, Contact, I'm using Contact version 6 and I'm using it in my DAW, which is uh, PreSonus Studio 1. It doesn't matter what software, you're, what door you're using. As long as you're using Contact, this will work and it will work on 4 and 5. Uh, so let's just do this straight away. Right, so you are, you're wanting to score some music for, for whatever reason. <laughs> uh, or you just have a instance where you are using lots of Contact instruments in your particular production. Uh, so one of the things you're going to want to do is you want you're going to want to conserve some some memory and here is a way to do it. I'll play you the the it's only eight bars long, so I'll play it to you and then you can see where we're going with this. Right, so that that, that is uh, created using four instances of contact. Uh, and what we want to do is we want to minimize the amount of RAM we are using to do this and the amount of samples it is loading. Okay, so what we're going to do, first of all, is we are going to first, let's check this here. So we're using this Ostentato, Ostentato uh, and we are currently using just over 400 megs to load this patch in. So what we want to do is we want to reduce that as quickly as possible. Uh, so we're going to go over to here where it says purge. We are going to use the drop down menu here and we have a couple of options. One is to reset the markers, one is to update the sample pool, the other one is to purge all samples and finally reload all samples. What we want to do in this instance is to purge, is to update the sample pool. What that will do, it will say it will leave all the samples that are being used currently uh, and it will discard all of the others. So as I said, we're at 400 odd. Let's see what happens when we press the update sample pool. Right, so we are down to 65. So we've lost 300 on 100 odd meg, which is brilliant. So let's go ahead and do that for the others. Now, it may not work all the time because some, some samples, are, it, it's very little, uh, it's, very, it's not very taxing on the memory. So here we've got 137. So let's see what we can do here. So let's go in again. Let's go to purge. And we are going to update sample pools. It's brought that down a tiny bit. Uh, let's go to this one here. Uh, so we are, well, there's not much here, so let's just do it anyway. Uh, we'll update, it's brought it down a tiny bit, and let's go and the final one, and see what we got there. We're on 60, so let's just do that as well. And it's brought that down to three. So you can see that what essentially we're doing, let me just open this up here, and I'll, tell you, I'll show you exactly what we're doing. If we just double click here, just bring up the piano roll. All it is essentially doing, it is saying all of these other keys that you can see here, there are no samples loaded into there. It's only these ones that are loaded in. The only the ones that I'm playing. Uh, it's not a big issue because what we can do if we decide to play any other key, it will load them in after the fact. So what you'll do is as you press a key, it loads those samples in. So that makes it really easy to manage and easy to work with. So essentially what you'll be doing is only loading the, the keys which you actually play and not the entire sample bank. Uh, so that's essentially it. So let's let's just let's in fact let's just prove that. If we said um purge all samples. Uh, let's just see what we can do there. So if we purge all the samples, you can see now there are no samples loaded into the memory. But as we play uh, this, it's going to go up. So that's another way to achieve it. So what you could do, you can either purge them all, uh, the way we did it first, update the sample pool, or you can just purge everything and just say, uh, as a sample comes in, just load it as and when you need it. And that also helps to save some memory. So this is something that you'll do if you've got a big score that you, you're using and you've got 40, 50 instances of contact. I mean, often what I do is, 
if I know I'm not gonna make any changes, say I'm playing the piano and I know I'm not going to make any changes to it, I actually print it uh, and I work with the audio file if I know I'm not going to make any changes to it. Uh, but it's entirely up to you the way that you want to do it, but this way certainly saves on the memory. So this is definitely a thing that you should try. Uh, let me know how it goes on. Uh, please like, uh, subscribe, leave a comment if you wish to leave a comment, and I will see you all again soon. Take care for now, bye-bye.